So now I'd like to show you how we uh, dress the wound at the end of an operation, say for example in this typical case of a carpal tunnel decompression, we usually use Steri-Strips uh, to make the wound heal nicely and that gives a better cosmetic result. But it's not important that these stay on because the wound is stitched underneath. And I usually lay a strip along the wound like that uh, to prevent it bleeding and then we put this across usually obliquely. These are little Steri-Strips that we put across here like this. And these Steri-Strips are really useful at giving a, a good cosmetic result afterwards. And you can just peel these off yourself at, uh, at 72 hours after the surgery. So we put these across here like this, and these will be encrusted with blood by the time uh, you come to take them off. I just, you can just wash them off, and I tend to just put the steri strips on like that. And then we'll put on a, a sticky dressing. This is a tegaderm, but we use lots of different types of dressings. And we apply that on the wound like this. And then we just have this little device to help us apply it nicely. You can have these at home and you can apply them yourself at home. Uh, the nurses will give you some of these on the ward uh, if you ask them for uh, some tegaderm dressings and they'll give you the right size for your operative site with a little wound pad in here. And these are quite waterproof. You can get in the shower with these and usually these won't come off at all. So in the first uh, 48 hours after surgery, you can leave this on and you can have a wash with that. If you've got some spare, you can apply others. I don't mind if the wound gets a little wet, that's absolutely fine. So that'll be on at the end of the surgery, and this will of course be encrusted with blood as well. This is the dressing I'd like you to take off at 72 hours, preferably after the surgery, um, whether it's here or for ganglion surgery or for anything else where I've advised you to take your dressings off. And then we'll put on some surgical wool, which tends to make the bandage feel a bit more comfortable. Um, we'll wrap that around your hand like that. So of course we wouldn't have any rings in a uh, true uh, operative uh, site because we'd ask you to take all the rings off before surgery. And just raise your hand up a little bit, that's fine. Okay. And we wrap this usually around the wrist for carpal tunnel surgery and around the uh, thumb like that, leaving the thumb free. And we usually try to leave these joints free as well, so we'll tear this off like that. And then we'll put a crepe bandage over the top to give it a bit of compression, like this. And through the web space like this, like that. And snug that right down so that that all feels nice and firm. And then we would usually uh, trim this a little bit shorter with some scissors and then put um, uh, some uh, sticky tape on that to hold that in place and at the end of the operation that's what your hand would look like at the end of a carpal tunnel for example when I advise you to reduce the dressings we simply have to do everything else in reverse we just take everything off and this will then have some blood inside the wool you shouldn't be alarmed about that and it, um, it, won't harm, it won't harm to just peel these off like this in your bathroom and uh, just throw this away there'll be some crusted blood in here just peel that all away and then leave this dressing which will have some blood in it um, for, uh, so take all those dressings down at 48 hours and then leave this on for another 24 hours and then if uh, there is some blood coming from that you can just peel the whole thing off and, uh, and stick that from the skin. And as you peel this off very often the steri strips will come off with it um, and then you can peel the steri strips away as well and I often find it quite useful to take off the one that I put on first and take that off first and it'll peel the others off with it um, and then you can uh, uh, expose your wound and you can wash that in normal soap and water and when it's dry you can even moisturize the wound to help to soften it afterwards and that's all you need to do thank you